Today, I'm going to show you how to install TA Lib. There's a few things you're going to need to complete this episode. First of all, you will need a Windows 10 machine with administrator access. Now, this may work on Windows 11. I just haven't tested it personally, so I can't guarantee it. But I do know it works on Windows 10. Secondly, you will need a little bit of time, particularly depending on your download speeds. Uh, some of the stuff that we're downloading, like Microsoft Visual Studio, that does take a little bit of time. It can be quite a large download. So make sure you've put aside a little bit of time to do it. And finally, there are three downloads that you'll need for this, including the one I've just mentioned, Microsoft Visual Studio. I've put all the links for that in the description for you. Now, let's throw to Brad, who talk us through a little bit about what TA Lib is and how it can help. Hey guys, Brad here again today. So TA Lib stands for Technical Analysis Library. It's one of the world's premier analysis libraries with over 150 well-known indicators included. It is extremely fast um, and best of all for us, it has a completely free open source version. Uh, many of the world's largest trading companies use this software along with many successful traders as well. We use TA Lib for our trading bots at algoquant.trade, check out the link in the description if you want to check that out. Um, and we'll be using this extensively in this series on technical indicators. However, TA Lib can actually be quite frustrating um, to install and challenging on Windows. Uh, so if this is you, follow along and we'll uh, show you how to get it installed. Thanks, Brad. Now, the first one, you've probably already got it installed, but I do just want to point it out just in case, Python 3.10. And I've installed this from Microsoft <clears throat> Windows Store. I've always found this to be the easiest way to do it. And it also makes sure you get all of your packages like pip installed as well. All right, now for our first main download. Now, it is an absolute beast. Microsoft Visual Studio. This is where we get our Visual Studio build tools from. And to go there, just either Google Visual Studio build tools or just follow the link that I've put in the description. Once you get there, <clears throat> click on the setup ex executable and it'll download straight into your downloads. All right, once you've downloaded Microsoft Visual Studio tools, it's time to install it. And I'll talk you through some of the options. My experience over the years has been that everyone's got their own little way of making it work. So I'll just show you what works for me and we can go from there. The first step is, as you probably saw in the previous scene, uh, we just downloaded it and we installed the executable. Then you're gonna get a whole bunch of options for you to install. And there is heaps and heaps and heaps of stuff on there. You can get tens and tens of gigabytes of stuff, which I guess speaks to the size of the Microsoft conglomerate. Anyway, the ones that you wanna focus on are anything to do with the C++ build tools or C make tools. That's what we'll be using later on the episode to compile our TA lib. Downloading TA Lib itself is actually pretty straightforward. I've given you a link there to a place where it's stored online. That's kind of like the official place to download it. Uh, and once you go there, make sure that you always select the msvc.zip version. That'll make sure that it works on a 64-bit version of Windows. I love using Microsoft PowerShell, and hence the reason I've gone ahead and done this episode using it. It's back in my cybersecurity days, I used to love using it in order to kind of do blue team stuff. But anyway, you can pretty much do most of the unpacking that you need straight from PowerShell itself. The first thing I've done is I've headed off into the, uh, the downloads folder where talib.zip is installed. And then we're going to use a little commandlet called expand tac archive. Now, this is a pretty cool little uh, PowerShell commandlet that unzips your file and basically relocates it at the same time. And we want to have this located in our C drive, so directly into C. So you can see there, 
expand archive dash path ta lib bloody bloody blah dot zip destination path c as you can see up there nice little green thing that just gives you the progress of it Okay, and go and double check that it's in there. Listing the file, you can see it there. Now we're going to compile our TA lib. It used to be that you could do this straight from PowerShell once you had installed your Visual Studio tools, just using the nmake command. Uh, unfortunately, in a very recent change as of the time of this video, you can't do that anymore. You actually have to use the developer command prompt. So in the video, you just saw me go into uh, the start menu and find that developer command prompt. And then from that developer command prompt, I went into the same location as the file location we had before and ran nmake. Now you can see the whole thing compiling and it does take a few seconds. It's quite a large and powerful program. And there you have it. There is our TA lib is compiled. We're now ready to install. Our final command then is just simply to do a pip install TA lib. Follow our channel for where we use TA lib to explore the doji star.